Hello, welcome back. Last time I rescued Shelby, which took a while because he was in a puzzle with a starfish. <laughs> uh, but I got it all figured out. Now, time to play with him. Meet the snail. Tutorial mission. My cursor looks like a black box on my screen, but that well, does not Shelby, show up on the video. It looks like you and I are going to be partners for this part of the mission. Let's see what you can do. I stick to objects. Shelby is sticky. Oh, okay. Well, let's see if we can use that to our advantage. Yeah, so my cursor looks normal now, but I notice on the recording it's always flickering. I don't know why. I have to record this in a different mode than uh, other games for some reason. Anyway, Shelby, how do you work? You stick to objects. So if you do that, um, that probably just means that while you're attached, I can do the, uh, the this. Yeah, got it. So then if I do the, that, what happens? Okay, it falls, of course. So I can't... All right, you go along... Um, I can't move on to Flounder. I won't stick to him. <laughs> Fish are slimy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, how's this going to work? Like, if I want you to be... Oh, I, I know how to do... Th oh, right. Well, <laughs> it looks like your stickiness will be quite useful. That was very simple. Do you have any other skills? No, but I'm indestructible. That's good. That's a skill, kind of. So that means that you can take the pressure of the steel pipe. Awesome. Very good. <laughs> Indestructible. So, um... What exactly needs to happen here? Can you push stuff? Whoops. No. Shelby, unable to push. Okay, so all I want to do here is just have him stuck to that tire so I can push it. Uh... No, that's not right. Probably won't... Uh, wait, no, that won't work. Alright, so... Um, things I can do. I can push this in here. Not really all that helpful. I can make this extra push. Not really all that helpful. Oh, yes it is. Right, the reason it was there was because he was sticking to it. <laughs> okay. Not used to thinking in snail space yet. That's why there's a tutorial mission. <laughs> so I've been focusing very much on the left half of this map. It's, the difficulty curve is going to be a little bit funny when I get done with everything I can do over here and then end up coming back to this. Because <laughs> this is right after the initial tutorial missions. Uh, but I still have these to do and these and then if that unlocks anything, that stuff. Cool, flashlight! Poor snail. He's stuck there. We better go help him, Flounder. Uh, gonna require an object to do that. I assume you can't stick to crabs either. They're also slimy. Not really, but I just assume you can't stick stick to him because of the way he's shaped. Um, Alright, so... Cool flashlight. That thing. Who can do something? Flounder could push the flashlight to the right. Virgil could get himself trapped. That's about it, okay? Oops, Shelby, you stay there. Wow, that's a cool flashlight. We're gonna need that to solve the puzzle, aren't we, Flounder? Mm -hmm. Detectives always need cool flashlights. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so that's gonna actually not kill Virgil. Okay, cool. Uh... Alright, so let's not be too hasty here. Um, well, actually, I do want something like this. I think I was too hasty here, because I actually need to move that first. Well, yeah, this should make sense, because if this moves, I can also lift it. I'll consider that. Um, in fact, I could lift it and it could be a thing for Shelby to latch onto. What I'm thinking about right now is primarily how to get Virgil through here. 
And that would be like this. All right, so Shelby, can you stick to a crab? No. Okay, uh, so you definitely need an object. And I've, well, there's the water bottle. Can the water bottle be used for this? Maybe. You would get yourself stuck there. A Shelby could perhaps carry you upward if he were already in there. So I think that's how Virgil gets out of that. And he's good. Those two are going to have to help push this water bottle off so Flounder can get through there. That's a Flounder barrier. That's that's thing's purpose. Okay, so uh, what I need to do is before I do any of this, get Shelby onto this pipe, I guess. Well, is that actually useful somehow? He could go all the way around the outside, but he would just end up exiting the, the thing there. Okay, so what kind of things can a snail do? Can you attach to... You can't, you can't turn all the way around. So you're indestructible. I can do that, and it doesn't hurt you one bit. Which is great. Uh, you could attach to that bottle. And I think that would be okay for transportation. Because you can do something like this. This is awkward, um, but should be fine, right? Don't see why not. Uh, now I see why not. Of course. Uh, that's okay, though, because now I can ditch the bottle. Uh, well, I can ditch the bottle he, uh, Yeah, there. There we go. That's what I needed. Kinda. That's all still fine. Okay. See? Now if we'd brought along our cool detective flashlight, I wouldn't be stuck here. Oh. Wait, seriously? Oh no. I have to Shelby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess I missed an aspect of the puzzle. Gotta bring along a flashlight. Are you sure? So Shelby cannot push. Virgil upward. That's why this doesn't work. Mm. Shelby. Shelby. Alright, fine. Snail. He's stuck there. We better go help. That's the button I wanted. Uh, bring along a cool detective flashlight. Alright, so if you... Maybe this entire thing can be done differently. Because I can push that and that happens. But Virgil's kind of stuck down there. Unless Shelby gets him out. That's probably the answer. Well, but I can't push that flashlight to the left. Uh, oops. Maybe this is fine. I'll try. So what can you do, Shelby? You can get all the way over to where Virgil is and help him get out. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Snail walking animation and noises amuse me. That's gonna kill you. No, it's not, because there's a thing for it to land on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, sure. That seems mostly somewhat fine. I think I still need to do this. To give you something to push on. So that gets you there. Shelby can go wherever he wants. No, he can't. I guess he's going to have to ride the flashlight up, which should be doable. You're going to want to turn around. And just hang out there-ish. Don't think I need Virgil right now. I'll come back for him later. Ah, shoot. Yes, I do. Uh, because he's the only one who can push that flashlight right now. How will that happen? I guess like this? 
I could also have used Shelby to ascend that. Shelby. But I didn't. <laughs> uh, now, there's more to this. How am I going to lift that flashlight? Not sure yet. Because that thing's just going to get stuck down there. I need something else. So probably Virgil's help again. Uh, this... Sh um, oh boy. I probably want to do this. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think I need either of those objects anymore. So is that enough to do everything I want? Hey, uh, that's not what I wanted. But I can do this. Kinda. Yeah, I can do that. So she'll be on there. Virgil pushes that onto Flounder's back. Uh, you need to move more. We have to find Shelby. We did already. You're there. <laughs> Shelby doesn't seem to be aware of who he is. <laughs> or something. <laughs> I'm not sure what's up with him. He's a strange character. Alright, this looks promising. Uh, kinda. We have to find Shelby. Uh huh. Uh, oh boy. Uh, this is all fine. So that. Uh, okay, yeah, he can't get his claws on another surface, so I can't push that left anymore from there. That's a problem. Is well, okay. So I I can still do this, and that's enough to do that. Wow. This game is complicated, by the way. Okay, right, yeah. Shelby, you stay there. Wow. Wow. Just the potential for... What kind of things could happen with these puzzle elements. When did you last see Shelby? Just before the green creature pointed a gun at me. A green creature? Mm-hmm. Could it have been an alien? It sure looks strange to me. Ha! Wait till I tell Guppy. <laughs> if it's green, it must be an alien. That's the only possibility. Uh, does this solve my problem? I think so. Many hands make light work. Yeah. Of course, none of us have hands. <laughs> yeah, pincers. That's pretty close. All right, so this would kill him if I pushed it. That just has to get out of the way. Okay, done. Yay. Cool puzzle. <laughs> Those snail noises are going to amuse me. Oh, Shelby. Where could they have taken you? Okay. Uh, so, rescue the other snail. Oh, was that not Shelby? Shelby. Oh. Shelby. Shelby, wake up! Shelby can't wake up. Frozen creatures have to be moved by someone else. So you're not Shelby. You're Shelby. That's confusing. So two snails. All right. Um. So what am I working with? That looks well. Yeah, that'll and just she, leave. Oops. What are you saying? And she just abandons <laughs> us. Well, <laughs> it's like I always say, Shelby. You can't trust the government. <laughs> Do you know how Shelby got frozen? No! I don't know what happened after the creature pointed the gun at me. What sort of gun? I'm just a snail. I'm not a firearms expert. Okay, um... So anyway... Give this Shelby, go wake Shelby up, yes. Flight recorder with a bite taken out of it. Uh, okay, so, navigation. What do I need to push how to make this happen? I think I need this snail, whatever his name is, 
to sit on this tire while Guppy pushes him and the tire and the other snail. Sounds reasonable Can so far. Can you describe the creature that pointed the gun at you? Well, no. <laughs> that's a straightforward answer. Well, that's gonna. I should have seen that coming. Okay. Yo. Uh, uh. Huh. So I can do that, which would get this thing off. But why would I want that? Is that useful somehow? I don't think so. Alright, what am I trying to do? I just need this snail over here, and then Guppy pushes it. Okay, so, what's the issue preventing Guppy from getting there specifically, and how would I, what would I have to do to solve it? This needs to be out of the way. Yeah, okay, so if that needs to be out of the way... In what sense so, exactly? a creature you can't describe pointed a gun at you, and then you don't remember anything until we woke you up. That's right. Hmm. I had a strange gun pointed at me, and Flounder said I was frozen just like you and Shelby. Were you shot by a strange creature? Yes. Oh, okay, so that's a problem. So once that thing is down there, it's not coming back, clearly. I don't know what I would want to do with it exactly, though. Maybe it's just in the way to kill me when I'm trying to do other stuff or something. So... With this snail, whatever his name actually is... Uh, I can do this and get away with it. Then this sort of thing, sure, oh, but as soon as I, well, no, no, that's fine, I can still get that back, Well, but not if I go any Shelby farther. Can give us more information. Sure, this all works, so that's cool, snail is handle. Uh, oh, maybe the purpose of that thing is to be a platform to set this on so I can slide it through there. I don't actually yet see how this is going to help me in this area though. Um, it... Hmm. Like this needs to move to the... Well, no, it can't move that far to the right. If it goes up to and then right to, then it'll get stuck in here and I can't go anywhere. Yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to do here. So I'm back to just messing around and hoping I magically figure something out. <laughs> it sometimes works. Uh... Oh, Shelby, what have they done to you? So the thing I was saying a moment ago is unnecessary. Because I can do this. Uh, but Mr. Snail, you're on the wrong side of that. That's okay. Uh, is it, though? No, it's not, because that's going to fall. I want you on the other side. Well, you can get to the other side. You can crawl all the way around, right? Because I just want you to sit down there so I can slide this along. Why do I want that? I don't know, just intuition says that seems to be the thing that makes sense. So now... Something like this... You become a handle... And now what? Now I have no idea. Okay, I did that, so what? That's not helpful. Perhaps that's not at all what I wanted to do. Um, what do I want to do, though? 
It seems like I've reached the end of usefulness for just messing around and hoping it works. Because that has not led me anywhere productive yet. Well, okay. That does mean I can do this, how but couldn't I have done... How will it be before you figure out how to wake up Shelby? I don't know. Leave me alone. I'm working on it. Okay. Oh, that pushes you. Oh, right. Well, yeah, no. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, because you're attached to the wrong thing. Attach to th this, and then you stick there. Okay, that's what I thought. Still don't exactly see how this is ever going to help me. Okay, so if I do... So you're safe. to have this... Oh my. Mm, I'd like to be able to position the snail here. Well, that's still supported. Seems like that's not going to happen. So that could go up one more and be supported on this if it were there, maybe? Uh, Guppy's the only one that can push stuff right now, though. So what would that imply exactly? All right, so you stay there. Well, I'm glad you don't carry a gun, dear. Those police girls are... Police girls on television. Okay. Man, it's hard to get anywhere here. I can't really get to the other side of that. Can I? Sure I can. Of course I can. I can do this. Uh, yes, I can. But now I'm kind of stuckish. Right? Because you, you don't push anything. Uh, I'm not convinced this won't work yet. Well, that certainly won't. Because then she can't get out. And now I can't do anything. Hmm. Hmm. Like, yeah, I get that my goal is to move this thing to the right. And it probably involves this. I just discarded this object early on, assuming it was an obstacle. Could I use it somehow? There's nothing the snail can stick to that will... Shelby, wake up! Shelby! We're working on it. Just have some patience. That doesn't seem useful. That moves this, then that could happen. That just gets that thing pretty much permanently stuck. Alright, so, I'm viewing this from the wrong angle. All I need is the right perspective and it'll become clear what to do. I do not currently have the right perspective. So how else can I view this? This object needs to move to the right. Right? If I can move it to the right, how would that help me? If I can move it one tile to the right, it could fit into, let's see, hmm, 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 hmm. It would fit into a space like that. So 
So the hole at that point would be here. No, wait. One, two. No, it would fit into this space. Okay, so the hole would be here. Guppy could essentially just... Yeah, if this were one tile to the right, Guppy could just get into this hole, lift it up, go to the right. I still need to bring the snail along, but that's easy. Probably. Just keep trying. I'm trying. <laughs> uh, right, snail has to come along. Right, yeah. Just need this one tile I'm to the right. you don't carry a gun, dear. Those police girls on television always look so unattractive with guns. So... Okay, so the way to move that to the right, since there's definitely no way to get Guppy into this area until I've solved that part of the puzzle, the way to move that to the right is to have the snail, whatever that snail's name is, stuck to the bottom of this with Guppy inside here. Okay, so continue working backward. For that to happen, one way that could happen would be if, um, if my guppy fish were, were what? What am I doing? Um, all right, so let's... No, I can't ignore that because then that blocks her way out. That's that's not useful. What if I... Hey, turn around. Directional control for the snail is a little bit weird. Uh... That does let her through, yes. Okay, so you have a platform to set that on. Yeah, so what? That doesn't help me. That still just knocks it down there. Man! Wait a second, this is not a problem. I can push that still. I can push it like this. Okay. And I can also lift it like this. Okay, I just wasn't thinking with a snail. Well, I can't lift it because there's a thing above. Uh, so this may be a problem. Um, what if it's not? What if this is simpler than I was making it out to be? Because can, can I just do this shuffle? No, not exactly. Am I sure? No, not exactly. Because I know I can... Okay, if I want to prop that up, it'll have to be like this. This doesn't feel like progress to me. Because all that's done is put that in an inaccessible corner. How's that useful? And now my snail can't go anywhere. So that's definitely not it. A snail stuck to this thing, well, hmm, is not a situation I can create. Okay. If only I could have this up one more, but I can't, because if I move it up one more, then she can't escape anymore. Snails can't push. She has to be under here with the snail stuck to it there. That's the only way I'm moving this thing to the right. Only way that that's happening. So just some way to get... To get what? How? Idea. I have an idea. I want to be back in a situation where I can put that on top of... Okay, sure. This will do. The situation I want to create here might... Okay, so no, that's... Okay, so it's more complicated than that. What I was thinking... Was that I could... Okay, yeah, no, this could work. Um, I'm going to push that to the right one more. So if that's over here, I get under it, 
Um, Shall knock it we down. Wake up. Shall we? Then the well, this doesn't. That's not helping me. So right, I was thinking that the snail can extend that and support it, but that's not helpful to getting her out. I can have it supported like that, but that's not helpful to getting her in. If... Okay, so if this is lifted all the way up there... Uh... So Snail provides an extra extra lever for that. Sure. That's cool, but I can't go anywhere. Can I go somewhere from here? I mean, no. He would just exit the... Ah! Wow. Okay, so I have no idea what to do here. I need to just stare at this for a minute and figure out what, what I'm even trying to do. I'll be right back. I figured it out. It's about two hours later. Uh, I did some video editing and some other things, and while I was reviewing this, I saw a state that I'd been in right about here. Do you know how Shelby got frozen? How Shelby got frozen. Mm -hmm. That I f realized could actually lead somewhere good. Now, this is still a slightly complicated shuffle. I went through the motions once just to make sure this worked. Um, let's see if I can reproduce what I did. Where do I want you exactly? Not there. So, I realize that I can lift this up here. And if I can get my snail friend down there, he can act as a ratchet of sorts. Here we go, this is how I do it. So attach to that. You go around like, uh, that way. Right, so you go here. Since the, the thing that I tried last time had this in a slightly different position when I was lifting this up, so I can actually get back under it now and get Guppy under here. So this is starting to look good. Uh, she can lift and lift. Snail stands there. Then just push this over here. So this is a thing that I was trying to do for a while and couldn't figure out how to do. Then, let's see, I just push like... Let's see, how is it I do this? This is still complicated. Can you describe? And yeah, you can't describe it. Um, so also while I was reviewing this, um, I did notice that Flounder very definitely called this snail Shelby. So I'm wondering now if all snails perhaps are named Shelby, or if something else strange is going on. Uh, right, there we go. I moved it to the right. Yay! So puzzle's not over, there's still more to this. Um, having moved that to the right, my next step, I think I can just stick you right here, like this. No, I can't, because that's in the way. How does that get out of the way? I did this once before. Um, do I let this all the way down, maybe? That seems fine, yeah, sure. So you go here, you go here, yeah, done. Okay, so the snail, uh, this was a final step I didn't realize I needed. The snail needs to be exactly so, here to protect Guppy. Because uh, if he's elsewhere, uh, this just Oops. falls down on her. Oops. So snail here, Guppy moves through, snail can probably walk all the way around, yeah, other way, get onto that tire, and I should be able to solve this. This is as far as I got before. So, let's meet other Shelby. Shelby? Shelby? They are both named Shelby. That explains everything. Oh, kinda. <laughs> Shelby. So there are two Shelbys. <laughs> Alright, that's how you solve that puzzle. Good. I don't like to go away with a puzzle almost solved, but not quite. <laughs> so now I won't have to. 
Okay, uh, so next time. Pistons, I guess, and eventually bonsai. So this has shown me another thing here and another thing here. So two more padlocks to work toward. I am guessing... This will give me one of these. This will give me one of these. This will give me one of these. That'll give me that. But then for these additional locks, I'm probably going to have to go all the way back here and start on this branch, which is cool. I've been looking forward to the game making me do this. <laughs> For whatever reason, I've decided my path through this game is to always take the leftmost branch, br br branch. And that has served me well so far. Okay, cool. So, see you next time for Pistons.